Hello guys, Xantor here, and welcome back to, uh, Cities and Coffee. There we go. I remembered. Um, so, it's actually the same day as I recorded the first one, but, uh, I enjoyed playing it so much today that I actually really wanted to play it again. Uh, so, here we are. Let's, uh, continue. Uh, what we're gonna do is, I guess, like I said last time, this is gonna be our tiny house village. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and uh, claim it so via the district, uh, which I try to make neat and it never turns out neat, but that's fine. Because uh, we can make them relatively uh, good in the ways of, uh, you know, cleanliness and uh, you can kind of mess with them a bit with um, green cities and all that good stuff, which is kind of the plan, I think. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, because why not? So it increases electricity consumption a bit. Uh, but garbage production goes down by 20%. Truck traffic uh, is reduced by 50%. And, uh, yeah, I mean, 50% local goods, why not? And I gotta scratch my leg. That's good. Alright. <laughs> But no, that seems like a pretty fun little thing. Um, it's something different. Uh, and it feels a bit pretentious in like a good way, so that's what I'm in for. Uh, so we'll go ahead and build another little uh, segment off of it, because we do want it to be a relatively sizable area. Um, so we might do something about that. And go ahead and bring it. Uh, again, I don't really want to go past Okay, I didn't want to do that, but that's fine. I don't want to go past this point, because like I said, I want to be able to foreseeably fix that in the future. And I'm going to go and speed it up just so we're making money. Um, so we can sort of bring this in, maybe a bit like that. And then maybe, I guess while we're at it. Eh, actually, I'll keep it like that, because that can be like a nice little place for trees and kind of divvy it up. Instead of it being just a sort of boring old uh, little place, and I, I think I'll do this here. I'll keep it as a four-way instead of multiple intersections. Again, trying to think a little bit more like a city. It's definitely not going to be spot on, and I need to see how far uh, this pollution goes. Does it not show me in that way? I don't, think so. I don't remember. Maybe if I try placing one and kind of get an idea. Okay, so I don't really want to build beyond that. I think just having it as this is a good start anyways. Uh, and that's all covered. Electricity availability is high, so is water availability and sewage. Uh, so we're good for now on that. Uh, so that's great. Great. Uh, as our friend Tony the Tiger would say, for some reason. Um, yeah, and then we'll just, I guess, keep continuing this. I guess we're getting some like organic shops, yeah, organic corn, things like that, which again, not complaining. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do what we were doing before, just kind of slowly place these through here. I kind of like the old aesthetic, especially as this is going to build up. I think it's going to look really good. Uh, and hopefully the audio was good. I did notice that when the guy was talking, it kind of talked over me a bit, but it wasn't too bad. The, really, the loudest thing was when I was uh, sort of messing with... Uh, Destruct or I guess uh, demolishing things, but it didn't seem to be too bad. So I'm gonna keep it as is and uh, listen to it when it's actually on YouTube because it, it always sounds different on YouTube. Then this is Mars official radio with Pan Am Reasoning. public service. Reason. There we go. I can we speak. Have a soundtrack just right so I'll wait and see. Light. So there we go, and uh, we're gonna name this uh, Tiny House Village. Now we per oh, I guess I need to confirm that. Tiny house village. Do I, how do I confirm that? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, we need, yeah, we need police and stuff, which can go along this main road because I feel like that's a pretty good bet. Uh, I think police is like the most important one to get first, and that's going to be probably 100% coverage, I'd imagine, other than down there, uh, which is a shame. And I'm wondering if I should make a connection. Uh, or if I, how much is it, 480 a week? That's quite a lot. 
wondering if it would be beneficial just to have a connection for now so they can kind of work better or uh, take the hit and build more down there. Um, I mean, I guess a road is a lot cheaper, isn't it? So maybe this can be a temporary road. I won't build anything on it just until we end up getting maybe a little bit of coverage. And let's see if that helped any. Okay, so it doesn't even help. Uh, unless it did there, I don't know. And I guess technically the emergency services still will go that way. But, yeah, I don't really want them going to go there, so I'm gonna, wanna go back to that, and we'll just, we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> we'll find out if that's an, it's an accident waiting to happen or not. Uh, but as it is, I think they'll drive over there. So, uh, we do need a fire station as well. And we can uh, kind of pop that in there. And uh, they should be able to handle anything coming their way. Uh, and as for this, I guess this wouldn't hurt to have either, but it is a little bit of money. Um, but I should be able to counteract it pretty quickly with uh, some more housing that I'm just about to put in. And we're going to go ahead and uh, make this district uh, not that big, but a fair sight larger as well. Didn't mean to do that. Nope. There we go. Alright. That'll work. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, I guess continue just laying these out a bit. Like this. Which is good right now because we have the uh, demand for all of this. So we should be able to really put a lot of these up. I don't know if uh, doing the tiny house thing sort of makes it where uh, not as many people can move in um, or if it still works for like high, you know, uh, kind of high density household, I guess you could say, without actually having high density unlocked, but you know what I mean. Um, but I'm not sure. I guess it's just going to be something to find out. So, there we go. Beautiful. going. Try to get as much as we can. And we'll just make that housing as well, because we have more of the demand. Saying that, we did get quite a demand for commercial now, I guess because of uh, all of the housing coming in. Okay. I'm trying to make it where I don't have to place every single one individually. Luckily, once you do the housing, it's not too hard. And like that, and that. And oh, I almost forgot this. Which I don't know. I, I'd, I'd almost be curious to see if, uh, if put again, like, you know, where this house is here now, if I put that in there. Will another house come in there, or will it just nothing come from it? I really don't know. Maybe I'll do that and see if anything happens. Uh, which is, I think, originally how it was. <laughs> but that's fun. Alright, so we're doing okay. It looks like uh, money-wise is great right now. Uh, we're still a little bit of a ways from parks and plazas, but uh, we should hit that very soon, actually. Uh, especially with the people we have moving in. But I think we're... We're at the point where we can go ahead and actually go ahead and get an elementary school so we can get some education happening. Um, and that's, again, I think pretty solid on the old coverage. Um, that's, a, I think, I can't, I'm trying to decide if here is better uh, or here. I think both is about the same. So we'll go ahead and put it there. Uh, we can hold 300. We obviously have a lot more people than 300. Uh, but I think it should be fine. And this still seems to be working for now. Um, my plan when this isn't working is to try to make a slip roundabout, which I've never done before, but I should, in theory, be able to do. Um, but I look forward to trying it. It's also got DM in my room, so I look a little bit darker on the webcam, but that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. The light outside's kind of changing back and forth, so it's not helping. 
Uh, but I think that's, again, a good uh, little start on the village. Um, so I need to, I guess, go ahead and build another little housing area. Because uh, this is, you know, this is a good start. I don't want to, like, go too um, crazy with it, I guess. Uh, at all. But I guess I could start, you know, doing something like this. And maybe, like, out to here. Because that should still be far enough away from that. And... Maybe something like... Maybe something like out here. Is that... Yeah, I thought that was going to do that. There we go. Um, and maybe... I guess that could just connect. It's not going to hurt anything. Let me go ahead and take that away. Maybe fix that up. Um, and then... Maybe leave this open for future endeavors. Endeavors? I can speak really well. <laughs> So let's go put that there. Beautiful. And uh, sort of my plan is, like I've said before, I'm trying to make it look a bit more uh, packed in a way, which is sort of why I'm going this route. Because, I mean, this already looks like it has a fair bit more in the ways of... Because uh, when I put, like, trees in here and now I start putting more things, like, as tight as possible, it should look nice, I hope. Um... Because I'll be able to build a lot of walking paths sort of like through here, if I can squeeze them through. Uh, so I'm hoping to make it look really nice and kind of spend, you know, a little bit of time on each one. Because uh, typically, I don't do that. But when I have done that, it's been really nice. Uh, quite enjoyable. Uh, so we'll do that. Looks like we can continue from here doing this. I might just allow that to be like a 4-1 and see what happens. Same with that one. Curious like how large they build in comparison, which... I mean, it doesn't seem to be that much bigger, so I think that's fine. Maybe I'll do like this as well. I, I just want to see if it holds more residents. Um, there we go. Oh. Oh, okay, I was wondering. I had a little bit of lag there. I was like, oh god, did it crash? But no, we're good. <laughs> good for now. Uh, so we have landscaping, event policies, parks and plazas, level 2 unique feelings, football, <laughs> of course. Uh, so we have all this stuff, which is great. Um, match security, that's interesting. Uh, we have the paths, which is what I was looking for. We have canals, flood walls, which I'll probably end up putting on this, actually. Um, then we have loads and loads of parks, which we still do... Yeah. We still do have natural disasters on, so it's something to worry about. I kind of forget that it's enabled. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it sometimes, because it ends up ruining everything. But I guess, in reality, it's something that would be there, so... You kind of accept it, which... In fact, I might go ahead and just uh, overwrite this... Uh, the, the old rain there. Bring that down a little bit. There we go. Oh, that should be good. Maybe bring in a bit more sun. Ah, what's MB a lot? Oh boy. Okay, I see what it is. That gets a bit bright. <laughs> uh, that looks good to me. What is my phone going on for? Oh, I see. Okay. So, back to this. Uh, and electricity availability is going down. Uh, which is a shame. Is this still okay? Yeah, this is still working just fine. I'm guessing maybe the issue is it's just we got a lot of people moving in. Um, I mean, I could just make another one, but it feels a bit, you know, kind of crappy having to do so, but it definitely makes a lot more power. Especially because we don't have the biggest vicinity I guess it'll probably be the best for now until we unlock solar um, just to keep that going it's I think it's gonna be the best way to do it right now right, it looks like someone's missing out on water down here oh uh, yeah just barely 
Uh, so that's pretty good there. I think we still have like massive amounts of people wanting housing. So they had, I put in this one. So one of one households, it has two adults. And this, the tiny houses that I've done have like four, but I guess it, it doesn't matter. It's just going to be whatever they end up having, I guess. So that makes sense. Okay, sure. Um, okay, we're good on everything here thus far. I don't think, do I have to worry about crematoriums or anything like that? It doesn't look like it yet. Um, we do have high schools now, uh, which might be worth building. Um, so, I think maybe putting that here would be pretty ideal. So that kind of covers getting people a little bit more edumacated. And then maybe, is it too early to be thinking about parks? I don't know. I mean, they're quite large as well. Well, that one's quite large. They don't have to be that large, but maybe we could pop in a park like here. Just a nice little one. And uh, we can actually, I think it's this, yeah. We can maybe try to you know, connect it to here, which I'm going to turn off the snap as well, so I can do something like that, and maybe have it come out here as well, and sort of do the same here, let's see if I can kind of squeeze it in there without taking that house, I can, perfect, so something like that's kind of nice, and then maybe, you know, it can have like a little sort of a loop there we go and then we'll put maybe like a big tree in the middle don't know if you could hear that very very loud car outside <laughs> kind of shocked me um what's the I'm trying to find like a big really nice tree to put here small. I feel like this isn't a bad bet. I mean, that one's big, but it's not really the one I'm looking for. I like something that's a bit more like this, a bit leafy and everything. Well, that's kind of nice. It's maybe like right there. That looks pretty good. It reminds me of a bicycle seat for some reason. <laughs> and then we can uh, maybe go ahead and... I saw some like cherry blossoms it looked like. Uh, flower trees. I can maybe put some of these like around here. I think that would look pretty good. Why not? Just make it look nicer. And then maybe just to give this like these people a little bit of pri like privacy. Feels like a nice thing to do. Maybe kind of surround it in that. This is one of my favorite things to do in this, when I actually take the time and everything, is to kind of meticulously place things and make it look nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not perfect. <laughs> that's not perfect at all. I don't really want to... Nah, I'll come back and fix this up maybe in some way. Uh, I have some ploppable stuff here, too. Um, so I could, in theory, Really like the color clash though. I could in theory make it kind of nice with that. Uh, so we'll see if I can find anything that looks neat to maybe plant down. What is this? A flower pot. Okay. Yeah, I guess like a slot and stuff like that kind of makes sense. Like little seesaws. Like a swing set maybe. Don't know. It's kind of funny how small this actually is. Comparison to the trees and everything. I kind of feel like I, I want it to look more, maybe a little more aesthetic. Maybe, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Something like that that can go there. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a little bit off, but 
The good thing is I do have this, which I can move things. I kind of forgot that I had this installed, so I can kind of even things out a little bit when it's looking kind of uh, kind of nasty, but I think that's all right. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It wouldn't be in real life anyways, or at least not in my park. <laughs> so there we go. Kind of like things like that to start tying it together a little bit is going to be something I'm hopefully able to sort of keep up doing. Um, so what is this? Oh, the garbage collector, of course. So what we're going to do next is uh, see how much... Okay, we've been recording dinosaur. It's become very dark in here. With <laughs> it's uh, I'm sure it's not that bad, because it's only 3.30 right now. But it's it's acting like it's uh, like midnight. With how dark it's gotten for some reason. And I don't know why. Um, it's weird when it starts talking. It always throws me off. I don't know why. Uh, so next, I guess we can go ahead. Hmm. I'm, I'm debating, you know, I was talking about making this a main road later on, but I might as well just keep it as it is. Um, because I can always branch off and make it another way in. Um, and this doesn't necessarily have to be the downtown. Like, the you know, downtown, when I end up making it that, um, I could always put it somewhere else. And I really don't like the rain. Why is the rain back? And inventing the most efficient means of shipping and packaging the Didn't rain the entirety of the last uh, time we played, but I think it's because I had that turned off before. Uh, so let's go ahead and, yeah, let's... Which is a house. I'm just going to brighten it up slightly. I don't want to make it too saturated, so I'm kind of watching it again. But I think that's pretty good. Junior, every and eight, just while he's once in a week time busy television. talking a bunch. <laughs> oh, maybe it's too bright now. I can never tell. It, it looks a lot dimmer on my monitor than it does the recording, so I'm not sure how bright it's going to be. I apologize if it's overly bright, but it looks it looks okay on mine. So what's happening here? Do they have too many educated workers or just not enough? So one over-educated worker, which is something I can't really fix right now. Uh, I won't be able to fix that until I think like 7,500. Yeah, 7,500 population. Uh, but we still have uh, a lot of people wanting to, wanting to live here. Um, so I'm, I'm either debating keeping this sort of as is and then, you know, coming back, adding more commercial to this, which I can go ahead and do now, actually. I'm debating keeping it as is, uh, not trying to make it look, you know, we're not trying to, like, go too over the top with it. And, uh, you know, sort of keep it, I guess, tame and more, uh, I guess, organic looking, as much as maybe that may be weird to say, uh, because it's already, like, an organic form. But the plan is to, I think make it, you know, it's only a village, nothing too over the top, and then maybe over here I could build another little place that tries to use the mountains and everything and looks nice, maybe a bit more premium where they have more land, I don't know, um, we'll see, I guess it doesn't hurt to build it, I mean, we, again, we have, we're gonna have so much room to be able to do with whatever we want with, so I guess it's worth just doing it, uh, to be honest. I just, uh, I'm trying to build slow instead of, uh, going too crazy, uh, to go against my normal, my normal self. Uh, so there we go. And just like that, I think we have that sorted. Uh, I think I have all the bits that need to be done, done. Uh, so that kind of puts down the commercial need, um... And I think we will go ahead and build another one off this way. Uh, although that does mean that I would need more emergency services and services in general. But I guess I would be making it back with the amount of people coming in. What road do I use for this? Just, okay. So the basic four lane. Um, I was kind of tempted to give this a asymmetrical four lane a try. So the right three lanes and one left lane. And then dragging it backwards reverses its orientation. Okay. The only problem is I don't know really, <laughs> really what I would need to use that for until I think traffic actually becomes a problem. Um, currently, at least. So, 
I guess uh, back to the four lane. This is starting to get a little congested. I don't have, yeah, I don't have highways unlocked yet, which I'd get at 2400. Um, and then I'd be able to sort of mess with it a bit more. And it's really not that bad. It's just, you know, people are stopping every so often. It's not going to hurt anyone, hopefully. Uh, like I said, I want to do the thing with the slip road, but I'll eventually get there. And that's probably going to be one of those things I'm going to have to, like, edit through pretty severely. Um, because uh, I'm not I'm not very fast with uh, the roads, so... Uh, yeah, it'll probably be sped up a little bit. So, I could either build off the roundabout, <clears throat> or... Excuse me, by the way. Or I could build off here. Don't know, actually. Because I could build off this bit, and then it could have a little bit more coverage this way. Um... And then they have to come down here so they're not congesting maybe as much. I might just... That feels right. So I think I might just stick with what I'm thinking there. And we'll go and turn the snapping back on. So we'll go on up this. Uh, there we go. So it's looking a little bit more mountainous, which is quite nice. Go and put that down. Um... And then, I guess we'll start with a little, a little bit of road here. Trying to, I like to keep with the curvature of the mountain, because it's typically how mountainous roads are built. So maybe... Maybe start with that, not not to go too overboard yet. Uh, and then we can, you know, sort of make little branches where it comes off this way. Uh, oh yeah, this is still the four lane, I just realized. Um, so we don't want to break into that just yet. Uh, which I could, in theory, I could link this up. Uh, I didn't really think about that, but I very well could just link it together. And then it'll be a fairly nice way to sort of get around in general. I think that could work. So then there's, you know, an in and out, which, it, you know, I'm not trying to do really, but. It's an easy way into this and out, but they'll still take the most direct path, which by they, I mean the trucks. Uh, so that might work out a little bit more in our favor. Uh, so, I'm kind of tempted to do it with this, because it has a, a one lane road with parking spaces and bicycle lanes. So that seems like something that you know would kind of go in a posh area. So maybe, Maybe I'll go ahead and pull that one of those like down this way. There we go. Oh, it's a one way, isn't it? Small one way. Oh man. Okay. I mean, I, I can do that. That's fine. It's just I didn't. I didn't quite recognize when I was reading it that I was reading one way. Um, I just have to be a little more conscious about how to do this. Which is fun, because I mean, the, that's pretty easy. That's just a U shaped uh, little area. So that'll be f just fun and dandy. Um, that's actually not a bad idea. So maybe something like, like this, and then this to here. So there we go. And then we can go ahead and. I really wish there was. Is there not a one-way with, or a, a two-way with the uh, bicycle lanes? Oh, there is, okay. But I need 5,000. Okay. So that's a little bit more of a ways away. So maybe what I'll do is I'll build with a regular two-way, and then when I get to 5,000, which should be, you know, hopefully somewhat soon, which we are losing a little bit of a population. I'm not sure why. I guess it's, yeah, the jobs. I think they're becoming too educated. Which is awkward, actually. Is it? Is that why? Um, I don't actually know. Two workers educated. I don't know if it's because they're educated. 
Did I make him too smart too quickly? Because that is a... I think that is a thing. Um... I really don't know. I'll, um... Hmm. I think that might actually be a problem. And I'm still a wee bit away... Well, a fair bit away from having offices. But I can't imagine that many people... I mean, that is definitely a purge there. Wow. Um, okay, I might need to... Do I need to delete a school, maybe? Because I can do that. Like, I can just make them elementary smart. I think that's what I'm going to do, just to see if that helps. Because if that does help, then we know. Obviously, they're unhappy about it, which is very fair, I think. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and we need to, obviously get water done for this area uh, so we'll go ahead and branch it I guess right off this top here so it gets this done there and that should do that and just because I like the pops touching they don't have to but just a preference um, I can do that and then we have the availability so I'm just going to kind of Could have been done a lot neater, but the main thing is it is done. My phone keeps going off, it's confusing me. <laughs> um, so we can do something like, maybe here, go ahead and bring off a bit of people from here. Maybe something like, hmm, I don't know, I don't want to make it look too, Jaggedy, but maybe like halfway through that and this way then down to here so so what's this doing here how's this making it or are we just still not enough workers I think we're just still not enough workers so I think what we may do is we'll go ahead and start uh, this one like I said before just going to fill it in let them do their own thing, which I do need to hook them up with electric, I just realized. But that's fine, that'll take me like two seconds. And I'm just going to put some on this side because the, of the electric. Uh, it'll make life a lot easier to just do this. There we go. I really wish they had under uh, underground wires, and I know there's mods that do that, but I'm not too fond of them, to be honest. Uh, I found them a bit... Um, you know, because obviously it, it, it becomes an issue, at least the ones that I've tried, with the uh, water mains. Like, when you actually go through them, they start, like, becoming a problem. And I think that's usually why I don't use it, because I always, as you can see with my water pipes, I'm a bit all over the place. So trying to get around here with electric it just does not go well. Um, so I've been often, more often than not, not using that one. So we'll go ahead and just do this up. We'll build this uh, slowly as well. I was kind of going, I think, a little bit too fast for my locking, actually. Um, and we need a little bit of commercial. So I'll see if I can't just put some there, uh, you know, to kind of satisfy what they would want. And we'll try, um, I think we'll put in a police station here, but we'll do it sort of on this main bit. So that protects this area, and it will even help with this area a little bit. And it says it isn't, um, but I think it should do, is the main thing. Uh, and I know it needs some connections here. Uh, and I'd really like not having to do that, in all honesty. And I feel like this might be kind of a way... Oh no, it's not a waste if I did that. Because I can connect that, and then I can... Uh, I can maybe, because a tennis or a basketball court's pretty, like something that would be nice, and it makes it a little more parky, and then it connects everything up, uh, and then while I'm just waiting on stuff to sort of sort itself out and see if this manages to make itself back, or it's way back, I'm hoping, um, we'll kind of continue from there, and what I might do is we do seem to have some fertile land like this here. This I believe this lighter stuff 
is all uh, fertile land. So what we could do is uh, do a farm specialization there. Um, I do quite like those, so I think that could be pretty fun. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in here and just mess with this a bit. We're going to make this area very desirable, I guess would be the way to say. So we'll go ahead and have all this going on. That's great. And because uh, I want to connect it, which I'm going to go ahead and turn all these off because I like being able to do this a little more freely. Uh, does this count as? Yes, it does. Okay. So just because I'd like to see this connected. I will see if I can do something like this. And did that connect? Yes, it did. And then maybe bring it around here. And there we go. Perfect. So it kind of connects that a little bit. They don't have to work on the sidewalk. Um, which, you know, is a good option. I'm sure it'll be used. Oh, there we go. It's already being used. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the same uh, wherever we can, really, to make it look all nice and fancy. I sort of think of these, I don't know if you've ever seen these places, they're very prominent where I live, uh, but it's usually golf courses that run throughout neighborhoods, like very wealthy neighborhoods, and they'll often have things like this where, you know, you just randomly would walk through someone's yard, essentially. <laughs> on a uh, on like a nice walking path to be able to get to where you need to go um, but yeah but all these neighborhoods seem to love to have these for some reason uh, which I mean yeah they are very nice so I can't complain so one two three let me see I guess this is gonna dang I'm kind of hoping to branch it off all nicely mm. yeah it's hard to make it look Symmetrical. I guess it doesn't have to. I mean, that's pretty good, but I can actually tidy it up yet again. Like, sort of like this. Sorry about the noise. I've left Hangouts open. Uh, and that's Zach Scott messaging me. Kind of forgot that I had it open. Uh, so there we go. That's pretty good. And then, again, we're going to take this off. And then we'll see. I don't think I can squeeze through any of these housing estates, sadly. Um, but I can, you know, sort of just make its own little, I guess, you know, it's their own, like, sort of personal park. And connect there. I don't like what that's done, so I'm going to try to fix that. There we go. I think this um, is called precision tuning or fine tuning or something. And it, uh, it, it really is a lifesaver. I do love this uh, mod a lot. It might actually be the favorite one that I have. Uh, just because it's, you know, it makes everything look so much nicer when you can make it look, well, as nice as possible. Go along to here maybe again I'm not trying to make them look even and it sort of reminds me of like ovaries and stuff in a way I don't know why but it does so I'm just going to make trees to make it look nice and we'll go with the big tall trees uh, and then we will I guess for this I mean these these trees seem to be like part of it already I'm just gonna click a bunch of these in I don't have the tree brush I don't think sadly uh, I don't see it there, so I'm just kind of going to click them in just on these bits um, where these houses are to make it look a little bit nicer. I kind of wish that they would keep the grass around the bases of the trees. And the same with around the parks. I don't like how it makes it look all faded. I think there are mods for that. I might look into that as long as it doesn't lag the game too much. Because um, I think it would look a lot nicer. If it just had like that little bit to kind of tidy it up, because 
just does look like a lot of dead grass right now. But maybe that's, you know, maybe that's just how it is for now until I get like nice, nice management. Who knows? Alright. Hope you like me placing trees because that's a lot what you want to see for the next couple of minutes. <laughs> My fingers are retired. I'm I miss the brush greatly. I might have had to turn it off. I think it actually might have been uh, buggy or something. Because there's obviously been a lot of updates. And that new Park Life one that's coming out, which I'm very excited for. That's actually what made me start playing it again. Is uh, I saw the trailer for it, and um, it just looks so good. I've already asked Paradox if they'll uh, give me a key for it. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up getting it, but if not, I'm going to end up buying it. But I'm hoping to be able to get it for uh, before it actually comes out so I can play it and get some videos out ahead of time. Uh, because they obviously sent me City, uh, City Skylines itself uh, back and I got to play it a week before it came out. And it was so nice being able to actually, you know, have everything pre-recorded before time actually came around, you know. So I, I think I had like 12 videos or something like that already pre-recorded before the game release, which made, obviously... On YouTube, though, that's a huge thing, especially for me with someone who, you know, only has, uh, I think I'm nearing like 20,000 subscribers now, uh, which is crazy uh, that I've actually gotten to that point now. Uh, I've been doing quite well uh, this year so far with when I started playing Sea of Thieves with Zach, it uh, gave the channel a good boost. And I'm hoping by uh, maybe around my birthday or so. That should hit 20,000, because right now I'm at about, I think I'm nearing 19, and it's not, I mean, it's been gaining relatively, uh, decently, and, uh, yeah, I've been trying to keep up, I don't know if you've noticed, I've been trying to keep up on videos a little bit more, I've been trying to be a little bit more proactive about actually getting things done, uh, you know, with, uh, either playing Minecraft or playing this, or, you know, I've been Playing, obviously, getting back into Sea of, or playing Sea of Thieves and playing with Zach kind of got me back into everything. And then just trying to, in general, play more stuff um, and record it as I'm going. Because it, it's, it's a pretty easy one to actually just sit down and do it. So that is not pretty by any means, but it is tree fulfilled and it is there. So that's, that's what I'm going to take from it. I'm going to be happy with it for now. And hope that it turns out well. And this still has not built up, which is really bizarre to me. Um, not entirely sure why, uh, but I hope that we can figure something out. I'm hoping no one's like overly educated, and then you know they're like moving away, sort of, or you know, sort of like an ordeal like that. Uh, but I think it's just going to be something we're going to have to see and see how that goes. But hopefully, it works out for the best. I'm also putting some of these on the main road, which isn't ideal, but it's, you know, it's just getting our population up for now. Uh, I'll end up building some stuff in here, I think, next and over here. Coffee. Wow, well, I've been in 43 minutes again. Economy. That's what happened last time. I suddenly went down and it was 43 minutes in. Uh, and not a lot of progress again, you know? it's uh, Again, it's going to be a slow thing. Uh, we're kind of slowly building the city instead of uh, taking anything too quickly. And I think that's uh, the proper way to play the game. Um, can I actually delete this? I can because that's connected. Perfect. Beautiful. And I can maybe put some uh, commercial on the way in there and then that can sort of help out a bit too. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and... It's saying that the demand is back up, so I'm hoping that means that they're coming back to work. I really don't know. Um, but so far, so good, I think. Uh, we're making more progress. We've leveled up a fair bit. Uh, we should hear our next uh, level... I forget which one hits next, actually. So 5,000 is for that one, 5,000 for that... Uh, I want to say, I guess, I guess 5,000 would be the next kind of milestone to hit. I guess I can check up here, can I? Where can I look for that? Here, there we go. Nope, that's not it. Is it this one? <laughs> oh, I'll get there eventually. 2,400. And then that's transport and everything, which should help with work as well. Uh, because I can start moving people down to, um, like, uh, doing bus routes and everything like that. And I can also start on the kind of ramps and stuff. 
Uh, and as you can see, I've got some stuff with busways, which don't really work too well, but, you know, it's fun. Um, and then, yeah, so I got a bit of everything that I can kind of mess with. And like I said here, I'm going to try to mess with some, um, some things, and I might do that uh, in the next episode when we actually hit that number, which, how close are we again here? Uh, what one am I going for? Let me just look here. I think it's, so 2400. So yeah, we're very close. We should hit that at the beginning of next episode, no problem. Um, so that's great, and I'm very excited for that. But for now, that's going to be it. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys in the next episode of uh, Cities and Coffee, which mostly was about cities, and I mean, I had coffee, but it's kind of gone cold now. Hmm. <laughs> very cold. But uh, nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. Um... <laughs> Oh boy, it looks good. Uh, what's up? Oh, I thought this was on fire, but no, it's just really bright. Perfect. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.